Mm. It's like it's a lot of real simple stuff, but it's like times times a thousand. Yeah. So you can like watch the RPM, the torque settings for the bolt driver. So just like making sure connect, connecting between design um, and manufacturing. We have been back at the motor factory all day again today, so this is our second day at the motor factory. Okay, this bit's going in there. Oh, the whole fucking production just stopped. What's going on? Let's go check out why this robot's on fire. Yeah. What? What? Oh, that, that fucking thing wouldn't fit in there. By half a mil. Oh my god. And, and we've got $100,000 worth of that stuff. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, we're just standing outside our assembly factory. It's 9am in the morning. Yesterday, we spent all day at our motor factory. We were there to observe the full assembly process of our new batch of motors. Um, there's an order of motors that needs to be made now and it's not done. The whole project is at jeopardy. The whole two weeks we have in China is now at risk of not happening. All because of these motors. We managed to get two motors. The owner of the factory was there the whole day and he is absolutely adamant that he does not want to send motors to us unless he can guarantee that they're 100% perfect in every way I'm talking every part of the process was scrutinized yesterday and the plan was to to make 50 but he said look he doesn't want to make any more until we've tested them so that's what we're doing we're gonna go inside we're gonna build a Raptor put these two motors on make sure they're absolutely perfect and instantly we're gonna send him a, a report straight away let him know that he's got the green light and hopefully in one week we're going to have 500 or more motors at our factory and we can start putting Raptor 2s together and get them out to you. They did not want to, pre to make any motors and give it to us unless they were certain that they were good. That's good? Yeah, it's good. Truck deck bolts, one foot pound. So that's 12 inch pounds. Mm -hmm. We want to go to 12. And this you use for installation, not for calibration. This is for installing the rear axle. I'll show you how to do it. Everything was going well until we tried to mount the motors on the rear trucks. We definitely need to press. Yeah, we need a press to get that on. Now we for sure need a press. It's not going to go on. Give, give me another 20 red bulls and watch me have a heart attack on the fucking floor because we want to test the motor with a rider on it and then also report the functionality of the motor back to the motor factory as well because we've got to get to the wheel factory as well today we can't be here too long so we have to finish this let's try this see it's not going on See, there's a gap. Okay, can you see? Still a gap. Needs to be in contact with the aluminium. Completely. Completely, 100%. No option about it. Okay guys, so uh, today we were meant to take our two motors that we got from our uh, motor factory and install them on our first production on Raptor since we've been to China, <coughs> so we can do some testing because our motor factories refused to continue producing motors until we confirmed that they work properly. There was a little bit of an issue with fitment, getting the motors onto the uh, hanger, and uh, we ended up destroying both motors. So n instead of going to our wheel factory for a visit today, it seems like we're gonna be paying a two hour visit to our uh, motor factory. So, cost of doing business, I suppose. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah. That is the issue. We cannot have a gap. We want this material and this material to be touching.
So I mentioned earlier today that this whole trip is in jeopardy. We might not make anything and it's all boiling down to these two little parts and literally 0.2 of a millimeter. And I'd like to explain what it's all about. And don't get me wrong, we are trying to solve this and there's a good chance we will, but there's also a chance we actually just don't get it together in time and we don't build anything. So the problem is we have a shaft that is literally inside the motor and we have an axle which is attached to, this, to the hanger of the skateboard. And they're meant to fit together, right? And there's meant to be a particular amount of depth in this hole, but there isn't, it's too shallow. And that means it can't be fully seated inside here. Let me quickly draw it. So if we've got the motor um, shaft, this, we've got the motor shaft, which is this, and we've got an axle, and then we've got the hanger, which is like that. This depth here is 6.5. The depth of this needs to be deeper than this section here, but it's not. It's 6.3, so it means it, means it cannot fit onto the hanger. So at the moment, we've got a few options. We can either make this section here deeper, which is probably the best option, so that it fits perfectly on, or we can remove material from here or here, um, or we can add material here, which is the last option. We don't really want to do that. So we've got a few options. Hopefully we've got enough time to put it all together and modify the parts that we have, build our motors and make the skateboards before the end of the month. See how this has a chamfer? Yeah. That has a chamfer. That needs a chamfer. Otherwise it can't, it can't get there. The round radius there is not allowing this to fully yeah. sit down. The reason it has a radius is it improves the strength. Right. Having, having it go curved instead of coming and going, that becomes a weak point. Okay. So you, you have to have the curve in that so you get the strength. So then you modify that and put a chamfer in it so that it seats. This one you can. This one you can. I reckon. I reckon I can use that drill press and just. They do have the equipment here to do it. The depth and the chamfer can be done here. Look. The example for the depth though is that it's square, right? Doesn't it? No, it can be circular. It can be circular because the. The axle has a circular step on it, yeah, yeah. and that is the part that is contacting this part. See? Uh, yes. Fixed it. Yeah. Fixed. So 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 do it 500 times and we can build our motors. <laughs> I know that it's it's, a little it's not far, <laughs> you know. Yeah. To be safe, you maybe go a little bit further, but yeah. And then what you can do is you can set a uh, depth limit on those. Yeah. So once you get it, so then you can't actually do it wrong. Yeah. Still. <laughs> no gap. Oh. No gap. Yeah. Yeah. So. This one is a bad one. The back, the one that's not. Axle snapping so far, I would say, is stretch, stress back fractures. But we don't want any fractures. We don't want anyone. We want people to go 60 kilometers an hour and be confident that nothing's going to fucking break. And if we have to delay it another month to ensure people's safety and give the best thing that we can give, so be it.
Alright, so we've just gotten back from the motor factory, uh, our second visit to the motor factory. We've had to sort out issues with the motors actually being installed correctly onto our axles and hangers. We do have a solution, which is good um, after a long day. Um, so, well, the problem is that the axle shafts were actually made with incorrect tolerances. Despite us giving the correct drawings to this factory, they still made it with incorrect tolerance. So, we're, we've re requested a rework, which should happen over the next few days, and we're due to receive motors within about six days. So, it's not a great resolution, but it is a resolution, which is good. But yeah, we're confident after that that we're going to have motors, and that these motors are going to fit, and we're going to be able to produce. So that's good. So we also have a uh, set of motors um, that did fit onto the axles. Not 100% perfectly the way we want it to, but sufficient for testing. So we're going to uh, run those tests tomorrow. Um, basically we're just going to put them on a new skateboard. Uh, and one of our guys here, probably Barra or maybe Jason, is going to ride this thing and try to break it. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple.